So we've got the all the Duro products have been delivered. We've got them in here. They come late the other night. Um, the thing that we never had, we never had a consignment note, so we couldn't check everything off. So that was a bit sort of a bit frustrated about that, really. The other thing, of course, is when you have a delivery like this, you've got to check everything off, and that was the thing. No consignment note, so I couldn't check everything off as it was coming off the lorry. And I was a bit concerned about whether we had enough for H posts. But it looks like we have now, and we've got some 4x4 posts for the return. But now's the time. You've got to get the fence out. So we're just going through uh, the boxes now, just to try and check that everything's here. And um, well, we don't know yet, so we've just got to go through all of it. But we're starting that process now. These are the caps. Have a look at the caps. These go on top of the H post. Let's just show you what they like. This is some people may know it as Burtdale, uh, the company, but it is it is actually Dura Post. Let's get this out here now. Let's have a look. There you are quite neat isn't it look there you are that's the H shape there and it just goes on top and you've got these screw fittings on here so obviously you'd have the non the screw side facing away from you so you have a nice clean edge on there but you screw from either side so looks good um, so what we've got to try and identify here though they're the same sort of diameter the same dimensions rather is um, these Okay, these are the base rail, okay? The base rail and the top rail for the Dura Post uh, to, to slot in, in your, your panels. But this, this one here, this one is, is for uh, fixing to the four by four post uh, on a return, if that makes sense. And we've got plenty of those over there. So there you are, there's some more there. So let's get on with that now. So we've got the return post here and we're gonna have another one of those. I think they're about 90 mil. Okay, we're gonna have another one here, another one there, okay. And what happens with these posts is that what we're able to do, as the panel comes this way, to enable us to get the, the composite material in, that's gonna be fixed onto there with some self tappers. But obviously, we'll put it this way around and the reason for that, because we've got holes on this side to fix our panels. I'll be honest with you, I haven't uh, installed many DuraPost products it's simply because it wasn't around years ago and uh, you know, not for me, I never come across it. But when we look at that, some people will say, a steel post, that's overkill. That's been galvanized and powder coated. And if you're a client that uh, wants something with longevity, that's gonna give you longevity. That's not gonna, eventually it may rust, but in a long, long time, a long, long time. So is it worth doing? In my opinion, yeah, I think so if you can afford it.
Right, so what we're looking at here, we're looking at a couple of different components and uh, hopefully Lloyd will show you the areas, the components that we're looking at. So this, I'm waffling on now, this is going to be fixed to our 4x4 four four posts, okay? Well, they're 90 mil, I think they are. So this is going to be fixed through here and then what we're going to do, when we put our composite fencing up, it's going to be fixed through here. But what happens then, you put out some grommets on here and you slide this over like so over the grommet so you get this nice face on the front concealing those holes there so it'll go over there like that that's perfect that's about right isn't it Louis? yeah so good finish on that they've really thought about this okay and of course the other thing is that if you're not fixing this to a post you are fixing it onto a wall okay that's what those holes are for so you can fix it to a wall if you need it now if you look at these, this is the header and the footer, or the base plate and the top plate. If you look at the, the, the base plate, they've got these holes in here to allow the water to run through it so your composite isn't sat in water. These go in between your H posts, okay? They slide in, then you fix through your H post, ensuring you get a good fix. And then obviously then, with your H post coming up, there's holes in it and you fix your composite all the way up. And eventually, the top plate will sit on top of your composite, just giving it that nice finished look. Quite clean, smart and contemporary. So this is the, the H post and there's some plastic on the back to protect that. But what we're gonna actually do, this will be on the neighbor side, okay? This will be on our side. And that's the beauty about Dura Post is that the neighbour has the benefit of the fence. So if you are thinking about getting it installed, maybe you should ask your neighbour to contribute. Um, but look, just for video purposes, just take this little bit off. You can actually see the holes. This is where we screw through here now. But this plastic actually offers a little protection on that side. So the idea is now that we get a panel in place, get it set up to the correct height, and then screw it through and uh, see what we've got. Here we are, it's the end of the day. Um, have we done enough? Well, we have. We're not familiar with, with this product. We've done it a few times now, but we're learning as we go all, all, the, all the time. The idea about these H posts, they've got the holes on, on, on one side, so it allows you to screw from here. And on, on here now, we'll be able to put a, a concealment plate, so it conceals and you won't see all these screws. It's looking good, it's looking clean, it's looking neat. And um, yeah, and I like these return posts, okay? You just fit these brackets on here and around that side and you can just carry on from both angles. Now we've got to go right the way down on that side. So we have we done all right today? Yeah, we've done brilliant. Yeah, it was, it was a few things. The south tapping screws um, that we got were a little bit better, weren't they? Yeah, much better. Yeah, much better. So we used those and they went into the steel quite easily. So important that you put enough of them as well. Remember that the base plate is carried by a south tapping screw either side, but remembering that the composite boards are fixed individually all the way up. Each board is taking its own weight from the screws you put in. We're gonna have to put a few more screws on it in here, but there we are, it's, it's looking good. We've given it a good clean down. Now the black does get dirty when you're handling it on site, but there you go, it's there, it's done and it's nearly dusted for today. Well, it's been a bit of a wet day today, but don't forget my Dura Post have an installer scheme uh, across the country. Uh, ben Burgess runs the installer scheme. Give him a ring, give Bur uh, uh, Dura Post a ring or Burkdale, 
they will put you in touch with the right person. You too could be installing this product very soon.